Elaine Penn again and I'm cooking. Today we are going to make mint chocolate cake. Boy, this is going to be good. And this is very simple. Now this is not something that you eat every day. This is just a holiday cake I'm doing for you, okay? And it's made from a box cake. If you want to make your yellow cake from scratch, then you can do that. You know, I, I'll sleep good at night if you use a, go from scratch. But for those of us who can't do that, don't have time to go and do everything from scratch, I'm using a box cake. Just make sure make sure that you look at the date on the box and with the cake mixes they're at least a year out so if i buy it today it's at least it's got to be sometime next year around the end of next year that you should be looking at the date on that okay so here we go the first thing i'm going to do is do my egg whites this is going to be so good you're going to love this you're really going to like this mix your egg whites really good get them fluffy it takes a little while to get it done but it works. So low speed right now. You do a low speed so it gets like a little uh, clear white and frothy looking. And then after you do that, you put it on high speed. Then it gets nice and fluffy. It's really gonna be fast, so you'll be able to follow along though. It's not hard to do, it's not hard at all. Oh, that's great. See that? See those egg, those peaks in there? That's what you want. Now that's four egg whites. You know what? I, I'm, you know what is me, me and eggs. So make sure those eggs are fresh, fresh, fresh. Okay. Now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do now is mix the rest of it together. I do this by hand. I like to do things by hand. This is nice for egg whites, but I like to do this by hand. Now the first thing we're gonna do is add the water. This is a half cup of water. This is a cake mix. Okay. And I put the um, cake batter in there and pistachio, pistachio, look at that, pistachio jello. Now everybody else jello. Now you can't make that from scratch, so just get some pistachio jello pudding. Put it in there with the cake mix, okay? There's some water in there. Use a half a cup of vegetable oil, half cup of vegetable oil, a half a cup of orange juice, okay? And a half a cup of cream de mint. Yes, that's what I said. Cream de mint liqueur. It's going to be yummy, 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 yummy. It really is good. Mix that all together along with your vanilla extract. That's a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Everything in there together. Blend it all up. I like to do everything by hand. I really do. I like mixes and stuff like that, but at one point, you couldn't even find hand mixes. So they had all those other expensive things out, and they had to bring them back because nobody could afford to buy all that stuff. It's ridiculous. You could afford to buy those, those $200, $300 mixes things and dough hooks and all that. Business. Listen, old school is still good, all right? They bought the hand mixes back. It's just fine with me. I bought one. Did be just fine for you know, things I need to do, and then I'll, I'll use it. But other than that, it's by hand. So now... Get this nice and see that? That's just as good. My hand. Now I'll be right back. I gotta get a, a spatula to fold these egg whites in. I'm gonna show you something else you have to do. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta get a spatula. Alright, now I got my spatula. Take the egg whites and fold them in there. Put them in there. See they're nice and fluffy. Look at that. Nice and fluffy. Look at that. See that? Nice and fluffy. Fold your egg whites in. Fold them in. I'm going to show you how to do it. Not hard. Not rocket science here. You have fun when you're doing Because I like, I love cooking. You know, I said I wasn't going to do any. And I'm going to do more cooking than I've ever did in my life. Anyway, you fold it. Fold them in. Fold them in. Fold. 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 Like that. Fold them right in there. Just fold them in. Don't beat them in. Fold them in. Fold them. Like that. Just fold them right in there. Now don't forget you need four eggs and separate your eggs. Egg whites only you put in here. The, the yolks, you, you can throw them away or you do whatever. Don't, don't, don't put them in the batter, okay? Nice green color. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's pretty. Okay. It's really nice. Just fold it in. Keep folding it in. Folding it in. You do a little stir, but you don't do like, a, like you're trying to beat it in there. Just fold them in. Makes it nice and fluffy. 
Now, you're supposed you're going to take one third of your batter. And how do I figure out one third of batter? I have a large container here. I'm going to pour this in there. And it's going to, wherever it hits it, I'll take a third of that and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. All right, so they take this and pour it in here. This is just for measurements only because I couldn't figure out how am I going to get two thirds and one third and all that business. I said, I'll just pour it, pour it in a big container and then I'll divide it in half. I'll see where it hits. Then I'll be able to divide it up in thirds. Makes sense, right? I thought it did. I used my head for something other than a hat rack when I did that, right? Yeah, boy. This is good. I made this for uh, some friends of mine who I love dearly. And uh, they absolutely loved it. They said it was so good. One of my friends called me back the next morning and told me it was so good. I said, I'm going to make you one. For, I'm going to make one for my a close friend of mine. Just because they're, so, they're very nice people. Now, cup is in here. All right, it's in there. And I'm gonna take, this is chocolate, chocolate syrup. For the chocolate syrup, I need one cup, no, half a cup and two, two tablespoons. A half a cup and two tablespoons. You pour it in there, half a cup, and two, plus two tablespoons. A half a cup of syrup plus two tablespoons. And I use, I like uh, Nestle syrup. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator. Everything you have to put everything in the refrigerator. Years ago, you have to put everything in the refrigerator. Now you got to put everything out of the refrigerator. It's annoying. Anyway, that's that. Well, let me put it in here. Stir it up. You should talk it down real good. Look at that. Now, that's incorporated in real good. Stir it up. Take your bundt cake. Pan. It's a large one. It's not a small bunk. It's a large bunk cake. See, that's, that's a big one. See that? Now I'm going to spray it with some Baker's Joy, which is this. It has the powder. It has the flour already in it, so you don't have to worry about uh, shaking up real good. You have to worry about greasing and then flouring and all that. It, 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 it takes a lot of steps out. Just spray it in there real good. Take your batter. And pour it around there. Pour it all around. This is gonna be so good. You're gonna see. It tastes. It does really taste good. I'm telling you. And when you see the finished product, you're gonna say, "Oh, that's how you get that." It is really good. I think I got it all on, on a little bit so I'm still trying to get it all out. I had to do it this way because I couldn't figure out the, hat, the, the, the third, the third, the third. Oh, for heaven's sake. It would drive me just up the wall trying to figure out the third and the third and the third. So what I did was put it in here and it came up to five cups and then I just divided it in thirds. Now what you do next is with the chocolate, don't mix it. Do not mix it. Just pour it right on top. Pour it right on top. You're going to be surprised to see how this looks when it comes out. It really does give a different look to it. You're going to see. It's really good. I'm telling you, it's slamming, okay? When I tell you it's slamming, it's good. And everybody who tasted this say, well, this is so good. How did you do that? And I'm going to show you. You're going to like it. Get it all in there. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. My oven's already been here at 350. I'm going to put it in there for one hour. When I come out and invert this bad boy, boy, it's going to be something good, so help me. Oh, yeah, I'm the Elaine Pen and I'm cooking, baby. I'll be right back. Okay, now my cake is ready. The oven's off. It's been in the oven for one hour. You see that? It looks great. It's pulled away from this pan a little bit. See how it's pulled away? And I've already looked at it and tested it with a toothpick to make sure that it's done inside. So now I'm going to put this up here for a second. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes and then I'm going to invert it. All right, I'll see you in about 10 minutes.
Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And I'm going to invert the case so you can see what it looks like, okay? Let me see now. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh, boy. Look at that. That looks great. Now, we got to let it... Sorry about that, kiddo. We got to let it cool for 10 minutes. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to... Well, you know something? I don't want to wait 10 minutes. Let me just do it now. See that cake? That looks great. Doesn't that look good? That really looks good. What I'm going to do is wait for it to cool, right, completely cool, and I'm going to shake a little bit of powdered sugar over it. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is make some chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce. Okay, I'll be right back. It's on the stove. I've already melted the chocolate. I'm going to show you what to do. I'll be right back. Okay, now, I've got the chocolate already. I've already melted it. I don't have a double boiler, so I took some water in a hot pot. You see that steam coming up? Put it in the pot with some water and boiled it, the water, and put this on top and melted my chocolate. That's four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. That's what that is. Now, once it melted, I put my butter in. You need about a quarter, a quarter of a stick of butter. One quarter of a stick. Put it in there, let it melt up around in there, right? Stir it up. It'll melt fast. If you want to, you can let it sit at room temperature so it'll be easier to melt the butter, okay? Then you take your sugar. This is a cup of sugar. A half a cup of sugar, I think. Just, just half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. Put it in there. Or is that a cup? It looks like a half a cup. Put that in there. Let that get around in there good. All right, see that? Then take your, this is heavy cream. Heavy cream. That's a cup of heavy cream. One cup. Stir it in a little at a time. This cream is really, really, this, uh, this sauce. <gasps> Make you bite your tongue, child. Ooh, it's so good. It really is good. Stir it in. See, it's melted. It looks okay. Now you can stir a little bit more in there. See that? Then to top it all off, after I stir in the chocolate, stir in the, not the chocolate, I mean the heavy cream, you put a teaspoon of peppermint extract in there. A teaspoon. Depending on how you take, if you want a little bit more, you can put a little bit more in there. It's okay. We'll put that in there. Now, once that's done, see that? That looks good. Can you see it? That looks really good. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to put this on the stove and let it just thicken up a little bit more on the stove in a, another pot. And this is good to go. You don't have to do anything else with this. Just warm it up a little bit more, let it get a little bit thicker, and then keep it warm and get ready to serve it. Or you can put it in the refrigerator for later and then rewarm it up, you know, later on. It's good to go. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm waiting for the cake to cool off. Okay, we're back and the cake is out and I inverted it. And it's already cooled off. Now, this is what we're going to do next. You see this? Look at that. That looks really, really good. That's some powdered sugar. Take it and just shake it over top there. That looks really good. Doesn't that look great? What a holiday spirit that is. You're going to take that after you shake it. Then I'm going to cut it. Right? If you want to, this is the chocolate. I was saving that chocolate. You put the chocolate inside like that. See that? That makes such a nice little presentation. Put that chocolate in there. Really nice. Take a piece and cut it. I'll be back in a minute. The phone is ringing. Ha! Hold on. Only when you're doing something important does the phone ring and it is somebody that you don't want to talk to, like a bill collector. I know we've all been through that. All right, here we go. Now I've cut that. There's another slice. Look at that inside. Wow. Doesn't that look great? And the whole cake is like that all the way around. If you make the batter a little bit thinner, not just a, that's a cup and a half of batter that you take out. Once you mix everything together, a cup and a half of the batter you take out and mix it with the chocolate. The chocolate that I showed before for the cake. When you mix the chocolate in with the batter, take about a cup and a half out. That's enough. Not a cup and a quarter, a cup and a half. And you mix it. It makes it heavier. And you get even a rounder thing. It's really gorgeous. Look at this. And you know what makes it really good, too? Once you do that, I want you to take a look at this. Boy, here's the syrup. You can take the syrup and spoon it over. 
if you want to, then look at this. Yummy, 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 mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm telling you, make you bite your tongue. All right, so that's it for now. Oh boy, this is really good. This is, a, this is from a recipe in a book. You know, I'll be doing stuff like this, and every once in a while I'll, you'll get one of my specialty recipes. But for now, maybe you don't know what to do for a holiday, and you want to make something a little bit special. You don't have time to run through the books or try to think of something to make. This is good, and it's easy, and it'll work. I already tried it. It worked for me. It'll work for you. I'm Elaine Pinner, and I'm cooking. See you later.